Hey guys! Oh my god! I think I say that every time I'm on camera. So anyways, so how's everyone been doing in America and in anywhere actually? Um, <clears throat> well, so I haven't updated in a while, but there's like so much that I have to tell you guys, right? So, okay, I... <laughs> So in my past ones, I've talked about omiyage, coming to Japan, and all this stuff, and first month, okay, well, finally, um, I've done some really exciting things. Actually, no, I haven't, but, um, well, you know, I work at five different schools. I'm, I'm, I based in, um, one middle school, and I teach at four, one, two, three, four, um, elementary school. So one middle school, four elementary schools. So the middle schools are called the chu gakko chu, meaning middle, and then gakko meaning school, and sho meaning small. So so let's talk about sports day in Japan, right? So actually, I'm not even going to talk about sports day that much because I'm going to talk about what happens after. So my middle school had sports day. It's like a big thing here. They have sports day. And I was like, ooh, right? So I have sports day. I go, I wear like my outfit. Like everyone else is wearing like white shirt, black bottom. This queen comes out in like this gray, which I thought was subtle. And I wore white pants, white, white, like short gym shorts. And all I, the only, like, gym shoes I had was bright orange. And my students were like, dude, look, it's Tai Sensei. So, anyways, right? Okay, anyway, so, I was there and I helped clean up. I didn't really do much to sit there and watch and talk to this support teacher who's, whose English is fabulous, right? And she studied at Dokyo University, not Tokyo University, but Dokyo University. And she's really nice, you know, and she's a support teacher. And we were talking, whatever. And afterward, she was like, before she left, she was like, oh, you're going to be at the Enkai. And Enkai is like a work party, right? So what happens at an Enkai stays in Enkai. Not in my case. So let's get this down. Let's get this down to the T, girl. So, <clears throat> so I went to you know, the sports day, and afterward, I went home, got changed, just wore, like, regular white t-shirt and a pair of jeans. I was like, oh, finally, I can wear jeans, right, to work people. And so the English and the gym teacher comes and picks me up. And the gym teacher, the English teacher, and the social studies teacher, the three of them were, like, the three posses, right? But the two of them picked me up, and one of them lived near where we're going, so I think he walked. And so I was there, and... You know, we did with the kampai and everything, and we were drinking, and I was like, beer, it's fine. But, excuse me, um, I need nihonshu. Nihonshu is like the word for sake, right? So, <clears throat> in Japan, I was like, oh my god, everybody drinks beer, or they drink nihonshu, or they drink shochu, right? And I was like, oh, no. I love beer, like ishoni beer and nihonshu and I was like oh my god I have to have that mm. and so I was drinking and everyone kept pouring and I it didn't hit me right because I was still eating I was like oh I and let me tell you about the food in Japan the ankai they have karage I think karage right I think it's like Japanese fried chicken and they have it everywhere it is fabulous I fucking love the fried chicken here I shall love fried chicken everywhere and so, I was getting real trash, like real trash, and I went to the bathroom and puked for like an hour. It was so bad, I passed out on the floor of the bathroom. This is like a tiny ass bathroom, it's like not the American style bathroom, it's like the Japanese, like, like the, sh the Japanese shitter, like the squat toilet, and I was puking the fuck out of my face, right, and when I came out, Everyone had already left because they, like, did not want to wait for me. I was so drunk. Except the three teachers, the gym teacher, the English teacher, and the social studies teacher. I think they're, like, the ones that I'm closest with. And so three guys were like, and I, like, passed out on the bathroom floor, came out, 
passed, like, just, like, I didn't pass. I was laying there. I was, like, tired from drinking. And then I passed, well, laid on the bathroom floor of, uh, uh, on, on the um, floor of the room where they had the ankai, right? And the gym teacher, like, piggybacked me out of there. And there's pictures on Facebook. You're friends with me on Facebook, right? I was like, oh, my God. And when, after we got outside, they were like, can you walk? And I was like, no. And I laid on the ground. And I slept on the street. I slept on the street. And I was like, oh my god, now I understand why people, like, sleep on the street when they're drunk. Because your body's really hot, right? And, like, it's really hot. And the street is, like, really cold. And I'm, like, laying there. I'm like, oh my god, it's so comfortable. Like, really comfortable. I was like, oh my god. So I'm laying on the street. And these guys are, like, taking a picture of me, which is fabulous right I was like this is so American and I love it and then and then I was like where are they gonna go they were like can you walk I think they wanted to go somewhere else but because I was so trash like it was bad right I was so trash I (laughs) I like called my friend Tita who lives in the same building and because I was like oh my god I don't know if these people are gonna go somewhere else but I was trash and I want to go home (laughs) I called Tita I was like, and then her boyfriend, her husband picks up and he's like, what? And I was like, guys, I need your help. I'm so drunk. Like, and then somehow my like teachers and my friend worked it out and they met up at like the station, which is like five minutes away. And then they drove to where I was. And then when, like when I got, and like the social studies teacher was like pouring water on me to like help cool me down, I think. But everyone was drunk and I was just slept on the street, girl. I was like, what? Oh my God. It was awesome. And then when I like, I was like, when my friend got there, I started to take off my shirt. It was hot. Like my friend thought like they didn't know that I had a, my nipple rings. So that she was like, no, 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 don't take, take off your shirt. Take, you can take it off. And then, so I finally take it off in the car, but they still saw me. And I was like, I passed out. And the teacher saw my nipple ring and he was like, oh my God. And so then, so I was like, I, like, was fucking puking a shit ton. But I didn't wake up the next day. I didn't have any hangover because I puked it all out, right? So I was like, ooh, okay. Like, a very, very little one. So it was fabulous, right? And then Monday comes, and I didn't have school or something. I didn't have school. Um, It was a day off. And then Tuesday, the middle school, because they had a sports day, they had a substitution day off, which was Tuesday. But I teach elementary school, so I take my vacation later in the winter, which is perfect. And so I (laughs) freaking, so I like totally just was like, oh, fine, it's fine. And Thursday comes and I go to the middle school again. And I walked in with a smile on my face and I was like, ohayou gozaimasu. And everyone just looked at me, said ohayou, and then said daishoubu, which was, are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's over. That's over. <laughs> and everyone was just like, you okay? And then Kojo Sensei was like, Tyson, you okay? And I was like, oh, that's over. And everyone was like, I think when everyone saw me, they were like, oh my God, this kid is still alive. Like, And I heard from the English teacher later that he, that, Kojo Sensei, the principal, actually called him just to make sure if I was okay. Like, it was so nice of him, you know? Hmm. Green tea. So I was like, oh, that's so sweet, right? It would never... It was so bad, guys. Like, it was so bad. Okay, so anyways. So that's the Enkai part, right? Here's the second part. Like, being gay here in Japan, it's, like, really interesting. Because, like I said, memoirs of a gaijin. Well, gaijin. I was a gaijin in America, now I'm a gaijin, right? So, it seems like everybody wants to know. And I think they know. I just don't say it at work. Like, I just don't, you know? And there's this really, really hot teacher. Like, in one of my school... I'm not going to tell you which one, because I teach at five, so it's fine. But... There's this one teacher, and he's gorgeous, okay? He teaches fifth grade. Oh my God. I just gave it away that it's not the middle school, it's fifth grade. 
So one of the elementary school that I teach, he's like gorgeous, tall, skinny, nice teeth, spoke some English, like like he speaks some and I speak some, it was just like, he's so hot. He's gorgeous. And he's 26. And he's in shape. Like, and he's so sweet. And like, and he's just like so cute, right? And I'm like, oh man, he's straight. It sucks. And and he lives with his parents. Because like most single guy anywhere else in the world in America, they just live with their parents. And I think it's the most adorable thing on the planet. Like, I just think it's so cute. And he leaves sleeps on a futon, right? And we like talking for hours one day. But he was so sweet. He was so cute. And I was like, oh, man. And so anyways, but... So being gay here is really interesting. Like, one, I was having lunch with him and his students one, one time. And, like, it seems like everybody wants to know, right? And his student was like, oh, shit's a long time. And so it's like, question time. <clears throat> And so they asked me something, and then the whole class burst laughing. There was, like, 30 students. No, maybe, like, 20, 20, 20 students. And then he kind of, like, was eating and kind of, like, chuckled. And I was like, huh? And then he asked me. He was like, mm, they want to know, do you like man or woman? And I was like, <sighs> and I just simply said, it's a secret. And I guess it's the most possible, like, straight, like, answer I could give without giving away. But it's also my personal life, so I just really don't want to say anything. So I was like, yeah. I'm sure they know after that. And then, or, like, at the middle school, is really funny. Um, so, the students obviously want to know. They're like, oh, they said, this means girlfriend. This means boyfriend, right? So they're like, oh... Uh, do you have a girlfriend or something? And I like, the teachers know at the middle school that I'm single, but I tell my students that I'm married. So, and I have this ring, it's on my right hand finger. And I just, when I go to school, I, this is what I do. And I tell them, I'm, and so they're like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? And I just lie and point to this, put a ring on it. Hey. And, um, so, and so they just like, don't ask, but one, <laughs> The Sundance student, the third year in the middle school, are like, oh, um, they're like, oh, um, oh, like, is your girlfriend or your wife, like, is she an American? And the teacher then translates to me and then says, is your husband or your wife an American? And I was like, oh, yeah, in America, you can do that. Like, two guys can get married. And he was like, honto? And I was like, mm-hmm, hi, honto. And then I was like, and he was like, oh, so that passed. And the student then asked, the first time, what did you and your wife do together when you guys got together, right? And they want me to, like, sex and kiss. And I was like, but the teacher then translates and says, oh, what, what did you do the first time you, your husband, or your wife got together? What did you guys do? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so then this is like way before. And then this is like a month and a half later, right? So this happened a couple of days ago last week. And I was like telling, you know, they're talking about the next Ankai, right? And I was like, oh, I'm not drinking at the next one for sure. And then, and then, it was really funny. I was leaving and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm not drinking. And then they were like, you have to drink. And I was like, I'm not. And they, I was like, well, when is it? And they were like, oh, it's in December. And, like, they told me the date, and I said, oh, I think I'm going to Tokyo the next day, so I don't think I'll be able to go. Um, I think I'm going to Tokyo to meet up with my friends. And they said, oh, I said, like, I'm going to meet up, going to Tokyo first. And then they were like, oh, with who? And I said, just friend, you know. And they were like, friend? And I said, and I just, just thought, I thought, I thought it would be, like, interesting to just be like, you know, like, and just, like, make, saying things. So I just said, oh, somebody special. Like, I was just like, oh, whatever, right? And they were like, girlfriend? And I was like, no. Boyfriend? No. I told you, I'm single. And I was like, what the hell? 
And I was like, man, they really want to know, man. They really, or they would ask me to see a picture of my wife, like, or like girlfriend. Like, this is before I told them I actually wasn't married, right? And it was just like insane. Um, what else is, okay, so there's like, I think there's a gay boy in one of my school, right? I think he's gay. He acts feminine, but he doesn't really say anything. And he's like, oh, I like baseball. I was like, girl, shut up. You like knitting. Don't even lie. You like making costumes for, for cosplay. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, but at also another school of mine, it's like one of the larger schools that I teach. Um, there's like 500 students. My other school is like 100 students. So this school is like 500 students. And the teacher is really, really, really nice, right? Um, and this one boy... We, like, scrub the floor together. <laughs> like, uh, like after recess, like, scrub the floor. Like, we and we always scrub at the same speed, like, whatever. And then we move, and then scrub, whatever. And then he, like, looks at me like he's, like... Like, I think he likes me. Like, he actually likes me. And I was, like, oh. And, then, like, when I was coming home, like, from class... I was, like, turning and leaving early because I had to go to my board of ed. I was saw him parking, walking, and I was like, hey, bye. And, like, so I got up to the red light, and I see in the mirror out of here. He runs up, runs up, runs up, runs up to the light. And, and he kept on saying bye to me. Like, he was really excited to see me. So then I'm about to turn, but it's, like, but he also has a right of way because he's a pedestrian. And I was like, go, go. So he like crosses the street and I drive. And then he runs up to the car just to keep on saying bye. And I was like, oh, that is like the cutest thing. And I was like, and he has a crush on me. I, I don't think it's even like other students where they like, like me. Like, oh, you're a cool teacher. No, I think this kid actually likes me, right? And it's been like kind of interesting. Because like, and oh, and this is the third thing that I want to talk about. So. So that's like being gay in the school environment so far. I mean, I think everybody knows I'm gay. I just don't tell them, right? And, oh, a version, a 2.5 version. I went and got my hair cut for the first time in like two, two months. And I was like, finally, yes, I need a haircut. And the guy, and my friend was translating for me, but the guy was like, she was like, oh, he was like, you're very handsome, right? And I was like, thanks. And... Handsome, and I was like, oh, okay, and then he goes, and I was like, no, and he was like, what do you like, do you like, do you like titties, or do you like ass, and I was like, and then I was like, mm, I'm definitely an ass man, <laughs> I just didn't tell it was a boy's ass, right, so I was like, okay. It was just like weird. And the guy who's like cutting hair, the next guy over, I think he's his younger brother. I think he's gay, right? And he was like watching me like, like, what the hell is this guy going to say? Because he probably could tell that I was gay. But I was like, okay, I'm not going to say anything, right, girl? <laughs> and so it was really interesting. Okay, and the third thing is, being here, sometimes you're like a celebrity. But not really either. It's like you're this weird thing that they're like, oh, like there's this foreign teacher, English teacher, right? And guess what? They ask for your autograph. Yeah. I sign a lot of autographs. And I've had my pictures taken with parents too. It's quite interesting. And I'm like, oh, is this? A? And I'm like signing, like going nuts. And they were like, they get the same book signed, different books signed. I'm like, okay, I'll delete now. Now I know what slips feel like, and it sucks so bad. Now I don't ever want to be famous, ever. Even though I'm famous in my own head. Ooh, ooh. And I, so I live by the only Starbucks. And the other day, I bought myself a Naruto wallet. The one, the Gamachan, right, that he has. And I had one before, but it kind of broke. And so I bought a new one. And it's so cute, and I use it all the time. People love it. And I pull it out, and Starbucks... And the girl was like, oh, Naruto Saifu. She was like, ski. And I told her, and I was like, oh, daisuke. And she was like, oh, so cool. So then she told her coworker, who's like good at drawing, and did this for me. Ching! She drew, oh my God, I went in and I was like, oh my God. Drew that I am keeping this for the rest of my life. And the, oh, and the day, and this just happened, right? But the day she saw my, um, my, uh, 
my Naruto wallet, she wrote, instead as she doesn't, they don't write names here, but uh, she wrote Naruto on my cup. It was so cute, right? So they don't write on the cup here, but they write on this. So I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? I'm keeping this for the rest of my life. So thank you guys for listening. And don't, you know, just if you have any questions, anything, just shoot me up an email. Okay, bye.